Hello and welcome to Microsoft Teams App Camp. If you have a web-based application that you'd like to extend into Microsoft Teams to make it a whole lot more collaborative and to open up a whole new market, then you've come to the right place. The Microsoft Teams application model was designed to be technology agnostic. Any web page could be surfaced inside of Microsoft Teams as a tab or other parts of the UI. And ordinary REST calls along with the Azure Bot Framework can be used to extend the menus and add other features. There's a lot of possibility and it's really designed to work with any technology stack posted anywhere on the internet. To help you learn how to utilize this, we've organized AppCamp using as generic of an application framework as we could find, vanilla JavaScript running with an express server. The idea is not that you would use the AppCamp lab in your app, but that you would learn the concepts that could help you to bring any app into Microsoft Teams. Now, if you're building a brand new app and you're happy to have it run in React with Express and be written in JavaScript or TypeScript, then you really should try the Teams Toolkit. The concepts here will still work, but Teams Toolkit adds a lot of tooling and other conveniences that just make it a whole lot faster to get started if you're willing to work with their tool chain. AppCamp, on the other hand, was designed based on a lot of feedback from developers who already have an app that they want to reuse in Microsoft Teams. So let's walk through the lab structure and dig into some of the details. In the very first lab, you'll set up the starting application. It's a really simple web-based application based on orders in the Northwind database. If you're not familiar with the Northwind database, it's been around for a long time, as you can see from the dates on the orders. Anyway, it works fine, and there's actually two starting options, one in which your application is already using Azure Active Directory as its identity system, and the other one of which is using another, in this case, a bespoke identity system. That's because our destination is to get to Azure Active Directory single sign-on, but the steps are a little different if you've already got Azure AD or if you need to link identities from another system. If in doubt, start with Lab A01. It's your shortest path to getting a Teams application up and running. And just like that, in the next lab, the web application turns into a personal Teams application that users can access through the left navigation in Microsoft Teams. The navigation of the app has been replaced with tabs, with multiple tabs, inside of Microsoft Teams. But almost all of the code has been reused. And we have single sign-on with Azure Active Directory. For the purposes of AppCamp, we call this personal tab application with single sign-on the core Teams application because all the other labs build on that application. The extended labs are where you can choose your own adventure. You can do them in any order you want. So choose the labs that interest you the most and have fun. Hello everyone, welcome to Australia. I'm Rabia Williams, Cloud Advocate at Microsoft. Australia is known as the land of adventure. Speaking of adventures, I've got something for you. Extend your application with cool features like message extension, configurable tabs, meeting apps, etc. So what are you waiting for? Come join us for an adventure here on AppCamp. In the configurable tabs lab, you'll learn how to build a Teams configuration page. In this case, we're allowing users to configure a tab for use in a Teams channel so that it shows information that's interesting to the topic of the channel. Configuration pages are also useful in messaging extensions, connectors, and in meeting apps. And you can continue to the meeting apps lab to see how that works. In the messaging extensions lab, you'll learn how to extend the menus and commands in Microsoft Teams. In this case, you'll add the ability to look up business data in the conversation compose box so that users can bring your app right in in the form of an adaptive card which later can be updated, allowing users to use your application right inside of the conversation. You'll learn how to build dialogues, sometimes called task modules, which allow you to present an adaptive card or web page inside of a modal pop-up. You'll even learn how to build deep links that bring up your application in the context of Teams and pass contextual information into the app itself. Perhaps the most important lab is the one that shows you how to monetize your application, how to sell it in the Teams store through Microsoft's commercial marketplace e-commerce engine. 
During this lab, you'll integrate your application with a sample licensing service and to an app source simulator where you can purchase a subscription to your application and see license enforcement in action. You'll review code for a landing page and web hooks that could be used to integrate with Microsoft's commercial marketplace. But wait a minute, maybe we're getting a little bit ahead of ourselves. I mean, why would you want to build a Teams app in the first place? Well, we have a lot of videos addressing that topic along with a lot of details, case studies, statistics, all sorts of things. For now, let me just share a few of my perspectives. The first thing I love about Teams apps is that they help users streamline their work. I'm tired of copying and pasting the same information between different applications or having to look up information as I switch from one application to another. Teams apps can bring the context of the user's work and of their collaboration into the application so they can seamlessly switch between the applications they need without having to search for information each time. The second thing I like about them is that they bring collaboration into the apps that we use every day. So apps that didn't used to be collaborative suddenly are. There's no reason for each application to invent its own chat system, its own meetings, etc. when users already have tools that they're familiar with and that are approved by IT. So the third big reason is that it's a revenue stream. Microsoft will handle the e-commerce, they'll open up their partner network, they'll uh, provide point and click purchase for Teams customers and admins, and all you have to do is I'm not going to say it's trivial, but AppCamp will teach you how to make that investment and get your Teams app into the store and monetized so that it can be a new revenue stream for your company and open our market that we've built for Teams up to you. In addition to hands-on labs, Microsoft Teams AppCamp includes a number of videos. Videos on the business case and business aspects of building Teams apps videos on how to build the Teams apps and how they really work, and videos on the Teams commercial marketplace and how you can monetize your Teams app, technically what's involved. I'd like to take a moment and let the presenters on these videos introduce themselves. Hi, and welcome to Teams App Camp. I'm Masako Kodama, director for our commercial marketplace team, and I'm really glad you're here. Please check out my videos on the Microsoft Teams Marketplace Strategy and the Teams ISB Opportunity in the Monetize Your Teams Application section of AppCamp. Hello and welcome to Teams AppCamp. My name is James Gay and I'm a Senior Product Manager for Microsoft Teams. Recently, I've been focused on monetized applications in the Microsoft Teams App Store, and I've added some videos to help you out. Now, the first one, Five Steps to Monetizing Your Teams Application, provides the framework for getting your app into the store, helping you generate revenue through Microsoft's commercial marketplace. There's also an additional one that I created called Buying a Teams Application, in which I show how real customers go through and find and buy applications, not just in the Teams App Store, but also the Teams Admin Center. Please check them out along with all the other material available for you at App Camp this week. I hope it's a successful one. Thank you for joining us, and I look forward to seeing your app in the App Store soon. Aloha, welcome to AppGap. This is Tomomi Moore. I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this segment, you will learn key features, well, we call it capabilities, of Microsoft Teams platform. By knowing what you can do with the capabilities, you'll get an ocean of possibilities. Hello, and welcome to Teams AppCamp. I'm Mina Milman, Business Development Director for Startups ISVs. And recently, I've been focused on helping startups get their applications with the Microsoft Teams App Store and in their commercial marketplaces. And I think AppCamp can help you get there. So please check out my video, Opportunity for Startups to Build and Grow on Microsoft Teams. Thanks and hope to see you in the App Store. Hello, I'm David Starr, and I'm a principal software engineer here at Microsoft. I'm delighted you're here for AppCamp, especially the modules where you'll learn how to monetize your Teams application using a SaaS offer. We've included content to help you understand the business and the technology behind creating an app that you can sell in the Microsoft commercial marketplace. In addition to experiencing AppCamp, 
I want to make you aware of another resource that will help you create and publish your SaaS offer. Visit the URL on your screen to find the Mastering the Marketplace content, which includes more video content, hands-on labs, and sample code to get you up and running with your SaaS offer in no time. So after viewing this content and working through the labs, we're really excited to see your Teams app available for your customers. Thanks so much for joining me here at AppCamp and watching this introductory video. I hope you enjoy doing the labs and watching the videos and that it helps you get your app completed into the store and monetized so that it can start generating revenue for your company. Thanks very much and I'll see you around AppCamp.